Alright, welcome back to part three of Making Comics the Process. Part three. This is a project I'm working for for DIY, which is a comic um, magazine anthology. Uh, kind of like heavy metal. There's different stories inside by different artists. I am also doing a story in that magazine that's being that's on Kickstarter. Please go and pledge any amount to get different rewards. It's awesome. It's cool. And you need to check it out. This is a story I'm working on called... Well, I haven't really come up with a name. I just call it The Piper. And if you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that... I got the concept or idea from the Pied Piper, my version. So the Pied Piper basically control animals with uh, playing musical instruments. And I want to take that and flip him and make him from being this folklore, saving the town from rats to controlling animals to assassinate people. You know, I thought it was a cool concept, you know. So I came up with the concept, then I came up with the story, I wrote it um, by myself with a little help of course with editing. I did the whole entire script, it's about 10 pages of story and now I'm working on character design. So this is the original drawing I did of the Piper. I decided to make him African black because we need something different. And black people are cool and uh, so this is the first sketch I did of him you know I did a little research and found out that back in those days um, this is all based in England 1485 during the War of the Roses and people apparently wore tights a lot so this is the initial first sketch I did of the Piper uh, if you'll take notice too, he has different, uh, three different wind instruments attached to his belt. You flip out, you know, at any time one breaks, you know, he's caught in a battle and one falls and slips out his hand, you can get another one right from the holsters. And then uh, to the right I have a little pouch, you know may have darts in there, coated with poison, I don't know, just something cool to have on there. Uh, but a pouch you would actually use, not like the whole cable thing where you have a pouch and you never use them, a million pouches, whatever. Uh, I gave him a cloak, because um, he'll be, you know, mostly the Pipe Piper is represented by wearing this hat, and uh, I want to give him a cloak and a hat to kind of cover up the fact that he's black and, you know, that probably wasn't cool and you know he probably get kicked out of you know the jam session where he's trying to assassinate somebody in a royal court so you know little disguise given to him you got to give him the little fairy boots uh everybody wore those those stylish back in those days so bam you know but his initial first drawing i didn't really like it too much i thought it was i need to rework it so i redrew the piper and this is my other version. Um, I want to give him the goatee and the uh, little mini afro. Uh, I just thought that if he's out in the wilderness, well, he's out in this mercenary school, who has time to shave and do all that kind of stuff. So uh, I give him a full beard, mustache, goatee, all of that. Kept the hood on, the little poncho thing. Um, loose, loose clothing, um, you know, he's a musician, so you will need armor and all that kind of stuff. And I kept the three uh, musical instruments on his belt, a little utility pouch on the, on the left side. I gave him little uh, gloves uh, over his um, wrist and forearm for protection against, you know, swords or whatever. Um, of course he has his hat in hand, I gave him the, uh, I kept the tights going, 
kept the fairy shoes, but I added these cool little um, stilts, kind of like Japanese kind of, you know, platform shoes. Uh, I figured it'd come in handy for climbing. Uh, have a metal bottom so it can protect itself against swords. You can put his foot up and block the sword. You know, something cool. I, I don't know. I just thought it was cool looking and really separate him from everybody else. Everybody's wearing elf shoes. You have to give him something different to make him stand out. He's the main character. So when you see him, you want to be like, oh, that's the Piper. So I put a give him uh, a line down the middle, inside black, outside, whatever color. Um, and uh, so I just want to give him little features that make him him and separates him from everybody else. So nobody else will have that little hat, uh, little cloak thing. And he's African American. Well, he's African. Uh, so you could tell him right away. Of course, he'll have a little accent. So that's the Piper. Uh, that's the idea and the concept for the main character. Uh, give him colors different from other people who haven't worked in that part yet. I uh, figure I'll scan it in and work on it later on. Anyway, another character in the story, one of the other main characters, is Henry VII. Have him wearing robes. He's royal. He's a uh, nobility. So have him with long hair, long black hair. Uh, you know. Again, that's something else I'll put more in detail later on. But initially, just the robes and looking royal and all that good stuff. Uh, this is the concept for the guards that will be uh, in his army. They'll, you know, most likely wear helmets uh, looking like this. A little chain mail. Uh, I'm going to go in later and put the detail in the chain mail. Chain mail, uh, hoods to protect themselves from being cut. Uh, the, the metal chest piece along with the metal bottom covered by the skirt around it um, dagger sword uh, and of course uh, metal leggings uh, protect their legs and feet basically all armored up so that'll be the guards Another main character in the 10 page story is Brock. He is the leader of the School of Marseille. Uh, he is the one that they're paying uh, for the mercenaries. He trains them. He has this little castle in France uh, where he trains assassins and mercenaries and, you know, pimps them out to whoever is the highest bidder. He gets a cut off the top, kind of like an agent. And so he obviously has scar uh, across his face to show that he's been in battle. He's been fighting for years and he's smartened up and decided to go the political route and start selling mercenaries that he's met over the years and train new ones. So he's making buku dollars, especially with Henry VII coming and hiring all his people. This will be one of the characters in the story, uh, Jean-Pierre, French guy. Um, he, well, he's not a guy, he's more of a kid. He's 16 years old, but is a super duper contortionist. Can uh, bend and move his body in ways that other people can't. Using that to, uh, kind of like a ball constrictor, wrap around his, his enemy choke him out, he uses wires, I have a little wire here on the floor, um, puts it around their neck, kills him, you know, a little kid assassin, uh, I thought he would be a little bit different, has a little double cl clim chimera, well anyway, double dragon head uh, on his um, outfit, little puffy sides, something a little different, does differentiate him from everybody else, uh, obviously he's a kid, so he would definitely be different. Then I made Adele. She's one of the main uh, fighters in the storyline. African lady, uh, mixed, 
she is uh, part French, part African, uh, big, brawly, strong, you know, this massive chick that just can, you know, break you in two by just looking at you. She is a proponent of fire, and so you'll find that out more in the story. She's real cool. I like her. Uh, it was fun drawing her. She's like awesome. I might use her later on in another Piper story. But anyway, she's another mercenary that's in the story and um, plays a main part, main role in everything. I like her. Then there's the proponent to Earth, and he is um, old man George. old dude that uh, in a story um, does a lot of meditating and um, communing with earth older guy you know real slow but has a lot of invulnerability and strength even though he's old Um, I like the way he came out as well Um, I gave him the armor former knight turned mercenary and um, I just thought that he was really cool I like enjoyed drawing him he was fun um, just based him on being an older knight a retired knight so to speak and uh, so those are the characters that I came up with for the story um, I think you guys will like it uh, the characters really are going to be fun to draw in each panel and so that's the end of the character design portion of uh of part three be back for part four where i do page layouts um and i break down each panel um that's the most important part of this whole process is the layout part because once you lay out where everybody's going to be what they're going to be doing it's uh, really fun. So, anyway, I give a close up of each one. So, again, go check out the Kickstarter. The links will be in the bottom uh, and towards the end of the video. Uh, check it out. Please pledge so we can get this thing funded and you can see this in print. Thank you so much for your time. It's been fun. And I bid you adieu.